Infinite money in a finite world. The irresistible force paradox asks, what happens when an irresistible force meets an immovable object? Our debt-based monetary system must create more debt each and every year in excess of the debt and interest accrued the year before. The more debt money the bankers create, the more profit they have. The more money debt the politicians spend, the more power they have. The sick symbiotic relationship of lender of last resort meets the spender of last resort ensures exponential growth of money. The elite will keep using the power of the printing press to maintain their power, but ultimately this will only accelerate their demise. There is a mathematical inevitable end to this system. As infinite money debt meets the world's finite resources and ultimately the limits of human faith, the more money and debt chasing after fewer goods and services will cause inflation. Ultimately, people's faith in currency will fail worldwide. It will become evident that the elite intend to print the currency into oblivion, ruining the main function of money as a store of value. When this happens, people will throw their depreciating currency at any tangible asset they can get their hands on. Precious metals will be the main beneficiary of this. The frightening thing is that it's not just American citizens that will be affected by this global destruction of paper currency, because this will be the first time in human history in which the entire world has become interconnected and dependent upon this fiat monetary illusion. Stop thinking about another American Great Depression and start thinking about the Dark Ages. My suggestion would be to beat the rush and panic now. Fire! People are concerned with overpopulation, unfunded liabilities, global warming, and peak oil. For the most part, these are scary campfire stories the elite pawn on us to scare the masses into larger global governance. One key flaw to all these theories is that they rely upon our current monetary order remaining in place. Since the time of the Tower of Babel, man has built systems that work against the natural laws of our world. This has accomplished great feats. But like most man-made systems, they're built on the idea of pushing to the extremes and not focusing on balance. Inevitably, all things that go up must come down, and our monetary system is no different. With the collapse of the monetary order, all these theories and problems will cease to be issues because they will be self-corrected by the end of the one thing that makes them possible, exponential growth of money and debt. When this current monetary order dies, so will millions if not billions of people as an era of unlimited money comes to an end. Think of the millions that are on food stamps that have no support system to carry them. Think about the billions of dollars in food subsidies ending, food riots, skyrocketing food and fuel prices globally. In this hyperinflationary collapse of the world's money, I predict that up to 90% of your money will go towards food and fuel. Not your mortgage, not your car payments, taxes, tuitions, medical bills, or anything else. Just the basic necessities like food and fuel. Most will not be able to make this transition and unfortunately will die. And that is before the wars, riots, and violence take even more people down. This dramatic shift in life will also prevent people from having children in this turbulence. There will be a scar in the human experience that will be felt for generations. This hyperinflationary depression will stop global manufacturing in its tracks. So if you're one of those misguided people that believe in man-made global warming, the collapse of the dollar will do more to stop human activity than 10 Kyoto Protocols or carbon Ponzi schemes. Peak oil theorists, you can stop worrying too. When the dollar collapses, the energy-intensive Western lifestyle will be cut by 75%. No longer will the economy be able to support gas guzzlers, the largest military power ever known, or wasteful corporate giants. The value of oil will skyrocket, and the demand will drop significantly, leading to a much longer availability of our current reserves. My greatest hope is that the elite will lose their power to manipulate the all-important oil market. I have no proof, but I've been studying these criminals for seven years, and I believe that they have suppressed technologies that would have rendered oil less important, and I also believe that we have domestic sources here at home that have not been tapped as they set out to strategically use the rest of the world's oil first. My prediction is after a new monetary order is established, the elite will announce amazing new discoveries here at home that will shock the world. This will also push King Herbert's bell curve out further. Things that cannot go on forever won't. When the mathematically inevitable collapse of the world's fiat currency occurs, all of those problems and theories will no longer matter. There will be a massive inflation in real assets, with precious metals, food, and fuel far outpacing all other assets. This will lead to the final exhaustion as old powers try to hold on to power. This will bring about regional wars, civil wars, revolutions, famine, and disease. These events will cut populations, economies, debts, and energy use, and will throw our lives back into a much more local, slower reality.